and we're about to get begin and get started. Hey, hey. Up, up. Down, down, down. In, in. Hey, 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 hey. Do I have your attention? Then. A, 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 A. What's up, y'all? How are you? Welcome to day number three of the Corporate Makeover Challenge. We are live. We lit. We live. We lit. <laughs> Gonna go ahead and share this out to the group and share this on my personal page as well, you guys. Remember, if you want to participate in this challenge, go ahead and use the link above to sign up. Um, make sure, make sure that you have the workbook so you can go ahead and follow along with us. I want to make sure that you guys are, you know, tracking all of your notes throughout this entire program, right? And so the workbook is a really good way to do that. It also holds you accountable. And in order to get the workbook, you got workbook, you got to sign up for the challenge. The link is above. And, and you also want to make sure that you are a part of the group. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Let me just go ahead and post this. And now we are on. You guys are coming on. Y'all, we've been having so much fun. We've been having so much fun, y'all. Like, I cannot imagine what it's like for y'all because, I, I mean, for me, it's just amazing. It's just so much fun. It's exciting. We're going to put my theme song on again, right? Hey, Courtney. Hi, Jasmine. Hi, Sherry. What's up, Lorraine? What's up, y'all? <laughs> Olivia Pope. Yes. <laughs> Y'all, listen, this is like, it's very like blush pink, like very light, almost white. I was like, since y'all get it now, I can rock her. I can rock her. Let's go ahead and start my theme song again. Do I have your attention? Hey, do I have your attention? Do I have your attention? Do I have your attention? Is you taking notes? What just happened with my, with my, with my camera, y'all? What just happened? Up, up, down, down, down. I'm back. A, A. Work it out. Dance. Dance. Do I have your attention? Dance. Do I have your attention? Hey. <laughs> Okay, y'all. Okay, so we had enough fun. That's enough of that. That's enough of that, y'all. Hey, everyone. Hey, Des, Lorraine, Takesha, BC, what's up? What's up, y'all? I'm rocking my Olivia Pope look today. We talked about Olivia Pope yesterday, so I feel like I can baby step y'all into my Olivia Pope world. <laughs> All right. So welcome to day number three. Today, you guys, we are creating a plan of action to consistently get corporate contracts. So I'm going to be breaking down my five-step corporate makeover blueprint into 10 phases today, right? And so I really hope, I told y'all to bring your notebooks today because we're going in. All right. <laughs> Thank you, Jerrica. Hey, Shayla. We're going in today, right? And so I want to make sure y'all have your notebooks ready because we're going to go in. All right. We're going in. Y'all ready? Permission to go in, please. Do I got permission to go in today? I'm going to go in. <laughs> All right. So if you have not already known who I am or you don't know who I am, I'm Gabrielle Leonard. I'm a corporate income strategy coach. And if you're seeing me here, probably your friend just shared this video on your timeline. And you're like, who is this chick? I'm Gabrielle Leonard. I help my clients close high-end corporate contracts quickly. That is what I do. That's my superpower. And my clients lovingly call me the corporate contract queen. All right. And I'm, I'm just, you know, I'll just gladly take the title because you know, why not? It's true. So I'll go ahead and take it. <laughs> right. So if you are seeing me on this thing here, we are doing a five day challenge. Today is day number three and we are going in the, the 10 phases of my five step corporate makeover blueprint. So if you're interested in closing corporate contracts, then you're in the right place. Go ahead and keep watching, get your notebooks and sign up for the challenges. The link is above. All right. So if you have not 
go ahead and get your homework in, all right? Because remember, all homework needs to be in on the homework thread. It will say hashtag homework thread. Rachel posts it every day after our, the live video ends. And so it says ho hashtag thread, ha uh, homework thread on it. You're gonna post your homework there. And so I saw a bunch of you guys posting your homework there. Um, and I was able to go ahead and like everyone who posted their homework. So I know who did their homework before the live video began, all right? Okay, that's where the giveaway winner for today is gonna be chosen. So yesterday's giveaway winner, we wanna make sure we get in touch with you. I think it was Quay, yeah, right, it was Quay. So Rachel did reach out to you, Quay. Please go ahead and check her inbox, reach out so you can respond to Rachel so that we can get you your Amazon gift card, okay? Your $25 Amazon gift card you won last night, wanna make sure you got it. So respond back to Rachel, she did reach out to you. Um, and then we can go ahead and get you your gift. And then today, we're gonna be announcing another winner at the end of this video. So you remember how we choose our giveaway winner is that we go ahead and we, we choose the winner from the homework thread. And also the person must be on live when we announce the giveaway winner, all right? So that you can win. If you're not on live, you will want to the next person, okay? Cool, so if you're ready to take imperfect action, again, you guys have been awesome with taking imperfect action. Go ahead and do a hands up emoji down below. That just lets me know that you're ready to take imperfect action today. You're ready, you're all in, you're prepared, you're in this thing right? You're, you're ready to take it to the next level. You're ready to level up your business. Then go ahead and put a hands up emoji down below. All right. Yesterday, I gave you guys a challenge. How many of you guys took me up on that challenge? I saw a lot of challenge accepted yesterday, right? But I want to know if you guys actually accepted the challenge by doing the work and taking in perfect action. So who actually reached out to one to five people in their network who are corporate decision makers today. Anyone, I wanna see you posting that down below. Who reached out? If you did, I wanna go ahead and tell me, tell me that you reached out and how many people you actually reached out to next to it. So I did and I reached out to blank people. All right, go ahead and post that down below so I can go ahead and acknowledge you. All right, I wanna make sure you guys are taking action. Jerrica, yay, congratulations. Love it, love it, love it. BC, yes, she said I reached out to two people. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Anyone else? Anyone else reached out? One convert turned into three additional connections. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. See, you, you put yourself in the intention and the energy of doing what you say you want to do. It starts to show up for you. So look here, you had one conversation and it turned into three additional connections. That is amazing. Brittany reached out to five people last night and waiting for responses. I'm super excited for you guys. We're taking action. Uh, Sherry reached out to one person. Jess reached out to one person. Lakeisha reached out to five people. Love it, love it, love it. Jerrica, she did one person equals three connections. Yes, yes, in the corporate training space. Okay, just, re just reiterating that. Awesome. Love it, love it, love it. I'm so, so happy for you guys. Congratulations on showing up and taking in perfect action. How did that feel? How did it feel when you did that? I wanna hear from you guys. What did it feel like when you reached out to someone in your network to offer a corporate you know, contract or, or even just to, to have a connection started, a conversation started? How did that feel for you? While you guys are, are, are writing that in, right? Uh, I just want you guys to go ahead and pull out your workbook for today, so you guys can follow along. We are on day number three, lesson number three, create a plan of action to consistently get corporate uh, contracts. And so we're gonna go over the 10 phases of, of making over your offer in just a second, right? I just wanna make sure you guys have that ready for today, okay? So when you tuned in for the last two days, I wanna let, you, let me know, what was, like it, what was it like for you guys? How was day one and day two for you guys? Did you guys have some aha moments? What, what, what came up for you? How was it like for, day, for you in day one and day two? Share down below. Yes. Love it, love it, love it. Lakeisha says, freaking awesome. <laughs> two people, uh, Lorraine said she reached out to two people and waiting on an email response. Yes, one step in the right direction. More steps to come, absolutely. It felt divine and aligned. Love it. Yes, yes, yes. Eye-opening. So this challenge has been eye-opening for you. Love it. 
What else? What are you guys feeling about this challenge so far? Someone says eye opening. I love that. I love that. Eye opening is a good term. It's a good, it's a good phrase. I want to hear more. What has this challenge been like for you so far? What has it done for you so far? How have you been feeling in this challenge so far? I want to know. All right. I want to know. Um, so tomorrow I'm going to be covering the only three things you need to attract the, the attention of corporations. And we're going to go into some strategy in that video as well. I just want to remind you that if you are wondering, well, how do I watch catch up on all the other videos? If you go into the unit section of the group, the Facebook group, remember you got to be in the group to participate in this challenge. Like I, be, I keep saying that, but I just want rem to remind you guys in the units, unit one equals day one. So all the information for day one is in unit one, unit two equals day two, unit three equals day three, and so on and so forth. So if you guys weren't wondering where do I catch all the replays and all the information, the, the workbook answers, if you miss something on the video, you can go ahead and check up on that in the unit section, okay? Also, uh, at some time during this week, um, my team and I are going to be putting out a replay page with all the videos on one page for you guys to just watch up, catch up on and replays will be available until next week, Tuesday. So until Tuesday of next week, all replays will be available and then we'll be deleting the videos. And last time we took a little while because we had some technical difficulties, but this time around we're definitely deleting the videos because I'm, I'm I really believe in holding my word. Right? So you have until Tuesday to catch up with everything. If you weren't able to get everything done. All right. So let me see what you guys are saying. Both days has helped me bring clarity on what I want to do. You have given me inspiration on how I can add additional streams of revenue to my business. Love it. Both days. Okay, so just repeating that. Um, mindset. Someone says motivating, stretching my mindset. Love that. Clarity. She said over the last two days, she got clarity. Day one and day two, I wrote an entire three-day program out and got connections. Where did you go? Just disappeared. I got connected with people who can help me make moves. Yes, I want to share that. Thank you, Jerrica, for sharing that. Love it, love it, love it. Jess says, both days have been awesome. Day one was an aha, and day two was a bit more challenging, but it gave me more confidence. Love it. Thank you for your honesty. Keisha says, was good um, to remember that I can refresh and re, re, reinvigorate what I already have so that it's not starting from scratch. Exactly, Keisha. That's exactly what the point was. <laughs> like Keisha says, my feeling was like, where have you been all my life? I've been here, girl, but I'm happy that we connected. All right. I'm happy that we connected. Awesome. So I'm just happy that you guys have been sharing how you guys have been feeling in this challenge. I've been really grateful to have met every single one of you guys and you guys are here. I believe in, you know, I believe in there is such a, a time as this, meaning that every time is divine time or there are certain times that are divine timing and this is divine timing. All right. So I'm super excited that I have gotten to meet you guys. Hey, Monica is one of my clients is on here. That's Monica. I saw earlier one of my clients, one of my other clients, her name is Courtly Ball. She was on here as well. Right? Hey, you guys. Yes. And then we had a call today with Jasmine. I had a call with Jasmine. She said both, both days plus our call today told me exactly when to start doing. Tad scared, but scared money don't make money. There you go. There you go. Super excited. It's been great and it helped me move into action. Yes, BC. Love it, love it, love it. Love it, love it, love it. All right. Uh, Janet says, looking at you makes me see how I am devaluing myself and how much better I can be. Yeah. 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 And, you know, it's so interesting because that was me. I used to definitely devalue myself. I was definitely, you know, someone who didn't think I was worthy. I didn't think that I, I could be charging what I charge right now. And so here I am right? And I'm excited that I get to show up and, and work with my dream client. I get to decide who I get to work with every single day, right? And you guys can do that too. I'm seeing my clients on here. BC's a former client who's on here. Courtney's on here. My Cherie's another client of mine. She's on here. Hey, y'all. My Cherie, I told you guys about My Cherie yesterday. I told you guys about how My Cherie had an $11,000 week uh, to celebrate her. And she's on her way to having a 30K week, y'all. So she's on here just on fire. Say what up, my Cherie. <laughs> she's on here uh, hanging out. Hey, Courtney. So I'm using my new framework to reach out to 10 clients today. Yes. 
Thank you so much for saying that, Courtney. Y'all are just awesome, right? So let's get into it. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. Your corporate launch needs to be strategic and organized to work. That's why I wanted to give you guys the 10 step, the 10 phases to closing these clients, right? The 10 phases to making over your offer into an offer that closes corporate contracts, right? So in order for you guys to be organized, you have to know how to handle it by step, by step, by step. Okay. And so there's a mantra that I use before we even get into the strategy of that, right? There's a mantra that I use to help me get into this place where I feel like I'm ready to go forward and serve on a high end level. All right. And so I really want to help you guys understand that this is all about purpose. This is all about purpose. And so what I tell myself, and this is a truth, it's not that I'm delusing, you know, being delusional. This is a truth. What I tell myself is I serve in my purpose when I market and sell my offer. Leave that down below if it resonates with you. I serve in my purpose when I market and sell my offer. All right. I want y'all to say that. Like, let, let it settle in your spirit. Like, honestly, I want you to say it aloud. I serve in my purpose when I market and sell my offer. When I market and sell my offer to my high end clients and corporate clients. All right. Leave that down below if that's what you needed. A lot of you guys are afraid to go after what you want, but what you really don't realize is that going after what you want is what you're called to do. When God gives you this feeling on the inside, this desire, this burning, this burning to do what you've been wanting to do, it's like no matter what, you just keep going after it. You keep going after it. You can't give up. You can't get it out of your heart. You can't get it out of your mind. It's just this burning itch and you, you just have to do it. That's called passion and also purpose. So you serve in your purpose when you market and sell your offer. All right. I want y'all to know that it's not about being money hungry. It's not about, you know, being greedy or being cold or, you know, not being aware of what's going on right now. You're serving. How do I know that? How many of you guys have ever gone all out for a client that you undercharged? You had this amazing thing. You went all in. You did all these things. You went all out, right? You did all these things. You 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 showed up on a high level. You served. You were exhausted. You did all this work. How did you feel after that, knowing that you undercharged? Were you energized or were you drained? Were you invigorated or were you burnt out? When you do what you feel like you love to do, but you're undercharging for it. How do you feel when you do that? When you show up every day, when you show do show up and do the work, when you show up and be the expert, but you undercharge. How does it feel? Does it feel great or does it suck? I want to know. Tell me the feelings that come up when you undercharge but you overdeliver. Let's let's see some of those feelings. Someone says she feels deflated. Someone says she feels drained and exhausted. Someone says drained. Someone says completely burnt out. Someone says burnt out. And this part, resentful, that part, right? Jeanette says, I was burnt out, truthfully upset. Like I gave myself away for free. Someone says devalued. Whoo, y'all, wow. Someone says disgusted with myself. Someone said I was so drained it made me feel unsuccessful. This person says, like, I didn't want to do it anymore. 
worn out, right? Emotionally exhausted and resentful. I think I put that one out before. I'm bringing this up. And the reason why I'm bringing this up, you guys, is because when people say, you know, right now, you know, you want to serve by doing things for free. Are you really serving when you're doing something for free? Are you really serving when you're doing things below what you know you're called to charge? See what I did there? Not what you want to charge, what you're called to charge. Because some of you guys are called to serve on a million dollar level. Some of y'all are called to serve on a six figure level. Some of y'all are called to serve on a, a multi five figure level. You're called to be closing 5K contracts, 10K contracts, 20K contracts, 100K contracts, multi million dollar contracts. Some of y'all are called to serve on that level. And so anything else feels like you're, dis, you're, you're undervalued, like you're resentful, like you're emotionally exhausted, like you're disgusted in yourself, like you're emotionally drained, like you're trapped and unworthy. Let me ask you a question. If you're feeling all those feelings, how can you serve? How can you show up powerfully? How can you show up and do the work as powerfully as possible if you feel drained, burnt out, emotionally exhausted? How can you do that? There is no possible way. Let me tell you something. When I started charging on a higher scale, the results lifted and shifted. On it, it went, it went on a different level. I just told you, my Sheree's on here, and she's about to have a thirty k week. Huh? My Sheree was burnt out. She was exhausted because she was on the charging. And what was my keyword? No, ma'am. Absolutely not. And so now, my Sheree's right on here. Where is she? She's she was on here for a second. I don't know if she left, but she's on here. She went from being burnt out, literally like what two weeks ago. My program just started two weeks ago, y'all. Week one, burnt out. Week two, 11K week. Week three, she's about to have a 30K week. You know how she came on a live the first week? She was like, I'm burnt out. I can't do this. I, I can't, I can't, I can't. This week, she's on the live like, yes, 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 I got this. Do you, their, their energy shifts. You show up powerfully. The results that your clients get is on a different level. When you charge what you're called to be charging, yes, what you're called to be charging. Say, I'm called to charge more than $5,000. I'm called to charge more than $10,000. I'm called to charge more than six figures. Huh? What are you called to charge? Because let me tell you something. When you're charging what you're called to charge, the impact of that thing is crazy. Not only do you impact your client's life, because they get results, because you show up powerfully, you show up excited, you show up, you know, ready, right? The energy that you show up with get results, right? But the people around you, there's a ripple effect. If you guys follow me on Facebook or you're a friend of mine on Facebook, you saw that I posted about my, my family member, right? She was pregnant. Um, she's 21 years old. And she got pregnant. She's in college, a student still. And she got pregnant. And our family just basically was like, yeah, no. And so I've been there because I got pregnant at 21. And so I knew that feeling of feeling like you were abandoned because you did something that you didn't want to do, right? Or, you know, something happened as a result of what of the actions that you took. And so I showed up. If I had not been living in my purpose, and showing up powerfully, she would not have experienced a $10,000 a week in her business, her product-based business. I've been mentoring her from the time she got pregnant. I was like, I got you. You're never going to have to rely or need someone or feel like you're abandoned ever again. And I worked with her and worked with her as my mentee. And I'm like, I'm not going to just give you money. I'm going to show you how to fish. 21 years old with a baby and an A student in college. She just had a 10K plus week this week. I'm sorry, month, not week, month. 
at 21 years old. How many of y'all were making $10,000 a month at 21 years old in college with a baby? I'm just saying. Do you know why that happened? Because I'm living in my purpose. That's why that happened. All right? That's why that happened. So you're called, if you're on this live video, I know it in my heart, you're called to serve on a high end level, not just high end, but on the corporate level where corporations come to you as the expert to solve a problem. And you absolutely can do this. Yes, exactly. Exactly, exactly, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Elle is on her. She's one of my really good friends. She's like, if you hit with a huh? Yeah, when I get into it, I'm like, huh? <laughs> All right. And so when I show up and live in my purpose, I break generational curses. My family levels up. My friend level up. All my friends are leveling up. Because when you live in your purpose, there's more at stake than just your fear. Oh my God, I'm so scared to charge. Oh my God, I'm so scared to reach out. Who's waiting on you to level up? Who's waiting on you to step into your purpose? Who's waiting on you for you to charge what you're called to charge? Huh? Hello? Come on, somebody. I'm going to stop preaching. Let's move on. <laughs> I'm getting in too deep. <laughs> right? The people you're called to serve will continue to suffer in silence if you don't sell your offer. I'm going to say it again. For those of you guys in the back who didn't hear me, the people that you're called to serve will continue to suffer in silence if you don't sell your offer. Huh? Let me tell you something. When Charming Charlie closed down, everyone was shook. I wasn't. Because a lot of corporations are suffering in silence. They're not going to go on the news and say, by the way, we're having a problem internally. Our company, we have a lot of toxic leaders. Our leaders suck. And so because our leaders suck, they're not managing the workforce properly. And uh, yeah, we're about to close down. They're not going to say that. It's your job to reach out and find out if they need your services. So don't you let another company close down without you having set your foot in there. Don't, don't, don't do that. Huh? Don't do that. Don't let another company close down without you having been there offering it, offering a solution. I would rather you have offered a solution to the company and they close down than you not offer it because you were scared and they close down because do you want that on your purpose? Huh? Do you want that on your purpose? Exactly. I'm going to move on because I'm, I'm preaching. I'm getting too much into it. <laughs> All right. So your purpose, what is your purpose? Your purpose is to serve and teach and lead whoever you're called to serve to a transformation. So in the comment section below and in your homework, I want you to do this as well. I'm called to either serve. You're going to put either serve, either teach or lead. You can choose which one it is. What kind of people or corporation to do what? What's the transformation? So I'm going to give you an example with my clients. I'm called to serve coaches, consultants, and service-based entrepreneurs. I'm called to serve them and help them close high-end corporate contracts so they can live in their purpose and get paid well to do it. That's my purpose. Huh? What's your purpose? Put it in the comment section below. You wouldn't be here if you were perfect at closing corporate contracts. You're here because you want to learn, right? And so I'm here to teach you. And so I want you to acknowledge that you're called to do this. Put your purpose in down below. <laughs> y'all are hilarious. Are y'all laughing at me? Y'all laughing at me when I say, huh? 
<laughs> Woo! Quay says, everyone turn to your neighbor and say, huh? <laughs> y'all, oh, y'all are just dragging me in the comments. Okay, got it. Got it. <laughs> and L, the fact that L is like, huh? I cannot. <laughs> Oh my gosh, y'all are making me laugh. I cannot. Y'all are just awesome. I love it. Love it. Love it. So what's your purpose? I'm going to say it again so y'all can put it in the comment section below. So you're either called to serve or teach or lead. What type of person? Leaders, truckers, accountants, coaches, athletes. Who are you called to serve? Don't say people. Don't say women. What kind of women? What kind of men? What kind of children? Women with diabetes. I don't know. Just I'm just putting it out there, right? Be very specific. I'm called to teach the women with diabetes how to lower their diabetes points in a short period of time. I don't know. What's a transformation? You're going to put that in there. Put it in the comment section. I want to read out your purposes. Let's stand in agreement with you guys as you put your purposes out here. Jasmine, to serve by speaking life into individuals and help them uncover their purpose. Okay, got it. I'm called to serve, teach, and lead female entrepreneurs to develop mental toughness. Love it. I'm called to help to give companies more time back by strategically managing their social media. Love it. I'm called to teach corporations how to build powerful thought leaders in financial services. Love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Y'all are on fire. What else? What else? Anyone else want, to, else want to share their purpose? I feel like y'all are typing. Love it. I stand in agreement with you. When you acknowledge that stuff, things start to happen. Right? Things start shifting when you acknowledge that. And I'm happy that you guys acknowledge that. When you start acknowledging those things, things change right? To help ideal clients, celebrities, thought leaders, and game changers and influencers and experts get media and speaking opportunities. Speaking gigs, ace them with my training to be on camera. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Brittany says, I'm called to teach executives and leadership how to overcome stress, anxiety, and imposter syndrome so that they can lead with confidence. Love that. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. L says, I'm called to teach female creative experts how to leverage their stories and become standout thought leaders in com and command high ticket. Let me go back to this. High ticket offers media attention and brand partnerships. Love it. Angel says, I'm called to teach six-figure boss chicks and corporations how to use the power of Pinterest to increase their visibility and attract their dream clients. Love it. Yeah, I can tell you're my client. <laughs> You are so my client, Angel. She's the, Angel is my client, by the way. She's on here. And she just had some amazing clarity. And she's the Pinterest queen now. All right. Uh, Willissa says, I'm called to encourage women to go for the goals I've set for themselves in life. Love it. Courtney says, I'm called to help Black female founders show up on a more competitive level. Love it. Shayla says, I'm called to lead, teach ambitious women, business owners and corporations how to develop their leaders and improve their operation. Where did you go? And eliminate toxic work cultures. Love it, Shayla. My Sharice says, I'm called to help multi six figure trucking companies scale their business to millions. That's what you're doing, girl. Love it, love it, love it. Jasmine says, I'm called to serve, teach, and teach leaders who need to make their to make a healthier shift physically and mentally. Love it. Y'all are on fire. Y'all are on fire. Sandra said, I'm called to serve business owners and managers in completing their administrative tax virtually. Love it. I love y'all. Y'all are on here. I'm called to lead and teach conscious women, solopreneurs, corporate managers, and their teams how to beat burnout. Where did you go? Emotional exhaustion by balancing their energy, building a focused and productive mindset, and up-level their wellness strategy on the job and in life. Love it. Y'all are just awesome. Love it. Yes, 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 yes. I mentioned Angel yesterday. Yeah, she's on here. <laughs> we actually just had a coaching call. I told him to come on the call. I was like, y'all don't have to come, but come. So they're just on here, just hanging out. 
That's why they're all on here. Just like it, just being supportive, right? Okay. So y'all ready to get into the ten steps? Say yes, yes. If you're ready for the ten phases of making over your corporate offer, making over your offer into a corporate offer that close. Say yes, yes. The ten phases. And so what we're gonna do today is we're gonna actually write the 10 phases out and you're going to map out on a notebook or in the workbook, right? On the 10 phases, what day or date are you going to work on each phase by? Okay. And so we've already started a couple of them. So we'll talk about what phase you're in, but we're going to get into it. So yes, yes. If you're ready for the 10 phases, yes, yes. Below. Awesome. I see a bunch of yes, yeses. Yes, 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 yes. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. So just to keep this in mind, right? What are they worried about? What are your dream clients worried about? They're worried about team productivity. They're worried about sales. They're worried about high turnover. They're worried about this whole COVID-19 thing that's going on right now, right? The pandemic that's going on, right? They're worried about call outs. They're worried about low frequency employees or tox toxic workplace environment. They're worried about talent management, talent management. They're worried about a lack of innovation or getting being more innovative in the workplace. They're worried about their millennials. They're worried about the competition. They're worried about being diverse enough. Maybe they've had a lawsuit for lack of diversity and they're trying to figure out how can we be more diverse? They're worried about their accounting. They're worried about going paperless. They're worried about going using modern marketing. They're worried about how to use emerging tech. They're worried about leadership. They're worried about sexual harassment. These are things that I've, I've researched and over the years found out to be some of the top things that CEOs and directors and leaders in the corporate space are worried about. So if you need me to go over that again, you can let me know so you guys can take notes and choose which one is your portion. But I want you to keep that in the back of your mind whenever you're going after corporate contracts that these are some of the things that they are worried about, okay? So. If you need me to go over that again, let me know, but I'm going to go into that to just move on. But you guys know, this is what people are worried about in the corporate space. So you want to have a clear plan of action to use to get to the point where you solve this problem. So you guys ready? I, I see all the yes, yeses. You guys are on it. Awesome. Number one in the 10 phases, the first phase is to get very clear on your dream clients. And so yesterday, we talked about that the day before yesterday. We talked about that. And you guys have a clear understanding of the kind of people that you want to work with. So you want to get clear on your dream corporate and high-end clients. That's the first part. The people that you're called to someone. Earlier when I told you guys to identify what your purpose was, I told you to be specific. Don't say people. Don't say women. Say what kind of woman, what kind of person, what they're going through. Women with this, women who have this struggle, men who are going through this, people in general who are going through this particular issue, right? Then you figure out who your ideal clients are, then you can be creative in how you create an offer and solution for them. Two is to outline your offer. Now you want to think about, okay, this is my ideal client. I just broke down some things that your ideal clients are thinking about, right? And so, you want to make sure that you're hitting on one of those things or something that they're dealing with right now. Okay. So you want to outline your offer. How do you outline your offer? You want to go ahead and make sure that when you are writing down the solution, you're, you're using your framework. So you should have had a framework from me for day one. I think we went over that, right? Your step-by-step -step process to getting clients from, I don't know what's going on to the results. That helps you with your outline. That's phase number two. Phase number three is you're going to price your offer. You want to price your offer based on results. So an example is when I first started doing what I was doing, I was charging $2,500 for a VIP day and I was helping clients close multi-five figure contracts. So let's put it together. Let's say a, let's say a client closed a... $50,000 contract. I was charging $2,500. Does that align? Do you, does that seem like it aligns to you? Or does it feel like mm, something's off there? Right? Based on the results that my clients are getting, my pricing has to align with that. 
And so when you're creating your price for your offer, you want to make sure that your price aligns with the results that you get for your clients. Okay, so that's that's phase number three. Pricing your offer. In phase four, you're going to create a sales campaign. A sales campaign can be your sales campaign to get your high-end client so that you can start getting results and getting what you want to get into, right? In terms of attracting the kind of people so that you can get those corporate clients. So your sales campaign may start with mastering my private offer, my high-end offer, getting clients in there, getting case studies so that I can go after corporate contracts. Or it may be, let's fine tune these results, let's package it in a way so I can start getting corporate contracts. Whatever you decide, you want to have a sales campaign created to go after what you need in terms of getting corporate clients. That's phase four. Phase five, that's when you want to talk about the sales conversations. So once you've done your sales campaign, right, for your private clients, right, you want to have a get them on a conversation. If you're going to sell a higher end offer, whether it's a private offer, whether it's a corporate offer, you want to have a conversation with them. This is some, this is this is not something that's going to be fully automated. Your process to get them on a call with you is going to be semi-automated or probably automated, but your conversation needs to be personal and address specific problems that they're dealing with. The next part after sales conversations is onboarding. How do you get someone from, oh my God, yeah, I'm so excited to becoming a client of yours and they're onboarded, they've paid you, they're pro they're, you have systems in place so that you just move them smoothly into client. Number seven, coach to results slash deliver. This is where you're gonna do what you do best. Get your clients results. Deliver the work you promised you to, you're going to deliver. The next step is to share results. So let's say we're starting off with your offer. You're making over your offer. You're taking whatever offer you have right now, right? You're taking over the offers you have right now. And you're like, I want to get corporate clients. You're going to identify your dream clients in your high-end offer. Let's say you're going to sell. You're like, you know what? Let me get some, my, some dream client. My dream clients are executives. So let me get some, some private executives into my private program. I want to sell it at $5,000 for this executive coaching program. I want to get five women in this executive coaching program. It's going to be for two months, and they're going to get results at the end of two months, right? Identify who they are. So it's executives, right? You're going to outline your thing. Awesome. Then you're going to price it, $5,000. You're going to create your sales campaign, get you those clients. You're going to get on the sales calls with those dream executives, right? and get them on a call and they're in your program. Now you're onboarding them. They're in your program now. You've coached them, you've done your work, you provide your services. Now they've gotten results, right? Now eight, you're gonna share those results so that you can build authority. Why is that important? Because now you wanna get on the radar of corporations. You want corporations to see, hey, I just had a program with five executives and here's what they're doing. Here's what their team looks like. Here's what, here's what happened before and after they work with me in my program. Here's why, <clears throat> here's why you need this, co this corporate, this program in your department right now for all the executives in your departments. That's how you do that. Right. You want to start sharing the results, start showing up as an authority, start showing up as someone who knows what they're doing. Now that you have the results from those clients, now you can go ahead and turn it into a proposal. You want to make it over, which is number nine, make it over. And then making it over can just simply be, you know, fine tuning it, changing up some wording, changing up some messaging so it aligns with the corporation, right? And you create your proposal for the corporation based on the results you've been getting in your in your offer. Are you guys with me? The sales campaign is a sale. Yeah, so the sales that the sales campaign is your marketing, right? Whatever you do to get your dream clients in your thing, 
That's what you're doing there. So I'm going to go over it again. Number one was identify your dream clients. Number two, outline your offer. Number three, price your offer. Number four, your sales campaign or do a sales or, or launch your sales campaign to attract and close your dream clients, right? Number five, you're going to have those sales conversations with your dream clients. Number six, you're going to onboard those dream clients. Number seven, you're going to coach to deliver results with those dream clients. Then once you get the results from your dream clients, you're going to share the results so that you can build authority and attract the attention of corporations, right? Number nine, you're going to make over your offer now. Just kind of flip it. You're going to make it over, give it a little bit of a zhuzh, right? So that now it works for corporations because you already have the results. You have the case studies. You have the testimonials. You have your process. You have your framework, right? You have all the, the things in place. So now you're ready. <clears throat> so now number nine, you're going to make over, over your offer, which is number nine. And number 10, you're going to create your proposal and pitch to corporations. That's how you do that. That's how you make over your current offer and turn it into a corporate offer that close. You got to be very strategic about it. So if you have an offer right now and you're just like having people like come in your program, it's like clockwork. Now you want to be more strategic. Like, okay, these five people in my program are going to be my control group. They're going to get the results. So I can see how it works in the corporate space. Do you see how that works there? Now you're more intentional in your corporate program. Let me see what questions you guys have. Thank you, Elle, for sharing that resource. Awesome. Let's see here. <laughs> Courtney says, I feel like I'm leaving a lot of money on the table based on number one. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Number seven, I think I did, but I'm going to repeat it again. Repeat it again. Number seven is coach to results slash deliver. Coach to results slash deliver. Okay. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, Monica. Monica's another one of my clients on here as well. She's on here just like seeing what her thing is. All right. What purpose is. You guys got all 10 phases. So what I want y'all to do is I want y'all to identify, I want you to map out your 10 steps. So who are your dream clients in your program? You're already probably already attracting your dream clients. If you're on here, you're probably, you're already good at what you do. You're already excellent at what you do. And so you already know who you want to work with more than likely. Or you might realize in the last couple of days that I want to shift my dream clients, right? And so in your program, you want your program, right? Whatever you're selling right now to be very intentional so that you're attracting your dream clients to you. Why? Think about in the corporate space. If you want to do executive coaching, then offer executive coaching in your private services. Get those kinds of clients in that service so that when you go to the corporation, you already have a control. I did this program with five people. Here are the results that they got. Here's what the team got. You, you, you know what I'm saying? So you want to be more intentional. So maybe your offer isn't exactly what your thing is going to be for corporations. But if you still do a control piece study with your current clients, then you can actually see, you know, maybe it's about goal setting or, or getting accomplishing goals. You can see my five clients were able to hit these goals, these goals, these goals. And so you can get very specific about the ten testimonials you collect from your clients. When it gets late, y'all, my stuttering starts to come back. I used to stutter really bad, like when I'm exhausted. And so it's starting to come back a little bit, right? So I want y'all to be very intentional about it. Very intentional. So it depends. It's not horrible to have two dream clients. I would recommend having one dream client and knowing how that works in the corporate space. And so that you might probably need to hop on a call with me, uh, Courtney, to get into that and get and see what that really looks like for you. Because you may not need two dream clients. You might be thinking it's two, but it's really one. Okay. Yes. Love it. Love it. Love it. Did this just happen, Jerrica? Jerrica says, I'm going to put it up on the screen. She says, I'm a sales executive. I've been given the green light to pilot my work from home, focus on productivity training with on my, to my team. 
of 10 sales execs. Did this just happen, Jerrica, when you did the reach out from yesterday? Can you confirm that? Just want to confirm. Because that's a result, if I ever did see a result. Did y'all see that? Let me see. I want to make sure that she actually did that because, got that because of the reach out that she did yesterday. All right. So go ahead and confirm. Yes. Love it, love it, love it. Y'all see that? Jerrica did the assignment. She accepted the challenge yesterday. And today, her manager gave her the green light to do a, a pilot of her work from home focus on productivity training with her team of 10 sales execs. Won't you do it? Come on, results. I tell y'all, I get results. This is a free challenge. Imagine my paid programs, I'm just saying. Come on now. Come on, results. Jasmine, exactly. When you have that mindset that I want to help everyone, you lose everyone. You lose everything. So focus, all right? Congratulations, Jerrica, on that. That is amazing. That is amazing. That is amazing. I'm so, so super, super happy for you. That is amazing. So now you can test that out. Huh? So you can do what? Get corporate contracts otherwise, because now you have your base. Now you have your, your uh, framework. Now you can test your framework. Now you can work on that. All right. You're welcome. I really would like for you to say, hey, you know what? I, I was able to pitch this and got paid an additional blank for this. But we won't talk about that later, Jerrica. <laughs> okay. Congratulations. Love it, love it, love it. All right. So now let's go over the 10 phases and how that looks like in terms of your calendar. I want you all to look at your calendar realistically. Like how much time are you going to dedicate per day, per week to spending on closing corporate contracts, right? Or working on getting, making over your, your current offer into one that can, can close corporate contracts. And so you want to think about where are you in this phase right now? What phase are you in? Are you in phase one already? Did you already get clear on your dream clients? Like Jerrica, she knows who her dream clients is. Sales execs, right? So did you do you already have your out, your offer outlined? Then you got to go ahead and outline that. Do you already have a price for your offer? Do you know what you want to charge for that moving forward? Start working on what that looks like. You know, you want to go ahead and do start doing sales campaigns. Right now, I'm doing a training of 10 execs or whatever. How do you want to go about doing that, right? Then you want to start pitching this to other people. Coach, where are you in this? Think about how much time you want to dedicate to spending on doing this and map it out. Each phase can take a couple of weeks. It can take a day, two days, three days. It depends on what your schedule looks like, how long it takes for you to work, but go on your own pace. There is no rush. You can start closing contracts in 30 to 90 days. I have clients who close contracts in less time, four days, right? You can start doing that now. Okay. So think about what phase you're in and start mapping it out. What phase are you in? What are your people ideal or ideal clients worried about during this time? What's your method of delivery? What are you launching or relaunching to make it over or making over to work for them? Right? What are you selling? And then go through the phase and give yourself 30 to 90 days, right? Be realistic and keep your current schedule in mind when you're mapping out, okay, for phase one, I need to do this, 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 and this, and this. For phase two, I need to do this, 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 and this, and this, right? Map it all out, break it all down into tasks, right? My clients know what all the tasks are. They, they We go through this like clockwork, right? And in my program, I break it down even further. And I'll be, break, I'll be introducing the program to you guys. I'm gonna go over exactly what the program is about, what it includes, what all the modules are, what you get in the program, all of it. I'm going to be breaking all that stuff down um, uh, tomorrow, I think it is. Let me just double check here. Yeah, I'm going to be breaking it all down tomorrow. So those of you guys who have been like, I got to join Gabriel's program. I'm ready. Where, where is that? Give me the checkout card. Ready to pay, <laughs> right? y'all? Because y'all are ready, all right? That's going to be dropping tomorrow. I'm going to be opening up the early bird uh, seats for tomorrow. Early bird is not going to be available for long. So y'all going to want to jump on it. 
and you will be rewarded when you take action. Trust me. All right. But I want you all to know that you can actually do this right now. So go ahead and map it out. Get your notebook, get a, you know, get your pen, write out phases one to 10 and figure out what phase you're in and start working on your plan of action to do it. Remember, if your program and offer right now needs some work, you want to focus on getting it beefed up, getting it to where it's an irresistible offer so that you can get clients in there like clockwork so that you can close corporate contracts. That's what the corporate makeover is all about, making over your current offer into one that you can just have it for private clients, it's 5,000. For corporate clients, it's 10,000, right? That's how that works. All right? Let me see what you guys are saying in the comment section here. Yes, Jerrica, I love it. All right. There we go. There we go. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay. So we're all in that. So what phase are you in? Each fa each task list, again, you can give yourself one day to 30 days or 90 days, depending on how you want, but create a task list for each of the phases. Be realistic with your current life schedule, right? Make sure you include your life schedule and the time it will take to follow up and to do certain things, right? Put it on your calendar so that you can do it and hold yourself accountable to doing it, right? Have your corporate offer launch date. So you're going to say, if I want to make, make over my current offer, I'm going to give myself 90 days to get my dream clients in this program, do my, my launch plan, my launch strategy, whatever. And so in the next 90 days, I'm going to launch my corporate offer at this price. That's kind of how that's going to look like, what it's going to look like for you. So your action task for today is to map out your action plan, set your dates and time next to it. And that's going to be your homework. Okay. So just to recap, I'm going to go over the 10 phases again. I'm going to choose a giveaway winner for tonight, right? And tomorrow, we're actually going to be going over, let me go over tomorrow's topic. Tomorrow is all about the only three things you need to attract the attention of corporations. So in phase, the 10 phases, number one, identify your dream clients. Number two, outline your offer. Think results, y'all. Think about results. Number three, price your offer. Number four, sales campaign. Number five, sales conversations or sales calls. Number six, onboarding. Number seven, coach the results or deliver so that you can get results. Number eight, share your results to build authority. Number nine, make over your offer. And number 10, create your proposal based on your new made over offer from the results you got from your clientele. All right. Some of you guys are in the phase of, I already have an offer that I get results. Now I'm ready to create proposals. <laughs> All right. So figure out what phase you're in and what you need to be working on in the next 30 to 90 days. Okay. All right. So let me see who the giveaway winner is. I, I'm not sure if Rachel sent me a message yet. Let's go ahead and see here. Let's see. So I just got the winner. By the way, Quay, if you're on here, I think I saw you on earlier. Um, let me see. I think I saw you on here earlier. Please don't forget to check your, your messages so that you can get, we can give you your, your, your prize for winning yesterday, okay? All right. Okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and just double check. She says my first step is waking up early. <laughs> Love it. Okay. All right. So We have the winner for today. If you're on here, remember you have to be on, you have to have to have done your homework and you have to be on here live for me to, for you to win. Okay. The winner for today is Keisha P. Shields. Keisha P. Shields. Are you on here? Are you on here? Are you on here, girl? Are you on here? A, 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 A. All right. I think Keisha is on here. I think I see her. Are you on? Let me see. Oh, there you are. Hey, Keisha. 
Congratulations, you won a $25 gift card from Amazon, all right? Amazon gift card is on its way, so go ahead and check your messages because Rachel, a member of my team, is going to reach out to you to get your email address so that you can get, we can go ahead and send you your virtual gift card uh, via email, okay? So congratulations, Keisha, for winning that. This is what happens when you take action. We are looking forward to give, giving that gift to you. Everyone is like, there she go. <laughs> so congratulations, y'all. Y'all are just awesome. This has been so much fun. All right. So remember, be on here live tomorrow. We're going to be breaking down what you need to do to attract the attention of corporations. All right. So thank you so much for being on here. Again, so if you want to do this tonight, you know, you can go ahead and go live in the group. Feel free to go live in the group and just share what you're working on, your phases. You can do that if you want to. Um, I want y'all to meet some other boss babes, you know, meet some friends, right? So go ahead and do that. Make sure you're posting your homework in the homework thread because the homework thread is where we're finding or choosing the winners from, okay? And so make sure you're there, you're doing your homework and you're posting it in the thread so we can find you and choose you if you are a winner, all right? All right, so that's pretty much it for me. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm, I'm gonna head out. Y'all have been amazing. Y'all have been great, right? Let me go ahead and see what's going on here. I'm seeing my, my phone is like literally blowing up right now. I'm just like, what's going on? Everything okay? Okay, there we go. Y'all are just, y'all have been awesome. Congratulations on having an amazing birthday in this time. I'm sorry that you are not able to go out and have a party, but I hope that tomorrow is amazing for you. So happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> All right. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it, y'all. It's been awesome. I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right. Bye, y'all. <laughs>